It says write the domain. I'm going to make myself a little cheat sheet. This is x. And range, this is y, of the function shown below in set notation. Set notation just means you write your set of numbers in a list with commas in between each element and curly brackets on either end. Okay? Um, so the domain here, well, I don't really know. These are points. So I'm going to look at them on the graph and write down what they are. This one is negative 2, 5. This guy is 1, 0. This guy is 2, negative 4. This guy is 4, 5. And then, oop, that doesn't look like a 5. He looks like a weird S. Okay. And then this one is 7, 3. So I have all of these coordinates. I'm going to go ahead and put them into a table so that way I can organize who's in the domain or the X and who's in the range or the Y. So I'm going to transport these coordinates from the graph into my table, okay? Um, the first one is negative 2, 5. I'm going to read left to right along the axes here, the X axes. Then we hit zero, 1, 0. Then we hit 2, negative 4. Then we hit 4, 5. Then we hit 7, 3. Okay. So in my domain set, I'm just going to list these guys. I'm going to use curly brackets. My kids, when you're called them butt brackets because they look like a butt. <laughs> um, but if you would like a less, or a less inappropriate way to remember it, you can just remember that they are curly brackets set notation. Um, and then in the range set, I have 5, 0, negative 4, 5, and 3. That's it.